Today we are going to continue with the workshop press and I'm going to show you the most typical task for the workshop press or at least in my mind. This is the thing that I have used this most in like real work, not on YouTube. And the work is changing plastic pushing, ball bearing or anything that is like round part inside of the second round part. So the old part has to come out and the new part come has to go in. So the getting the old part out is really simple. You have to just push through the like bigger part and through the table until it's on the floor. And this is quite simple, but you need like, you need splitting table and right sized tool for the job. And I think this is great with Profipress. You can buy the tool set that comes with a lot of different sized tools. Or then you can just use the big tool and put something between here, but that's not so good because it might slip out and kill you. You have to just make sure that everything is straight. So you have to use machine at parts, not use some like old band saw and cut it like totally mess it up. But this is the best option. So let's push the old part out. And while doing this, especially if there are steel parts, you might want to look the pressure meter or even set the pressure to a bit lower reading because if it's too tight, you don't want to break the thing that you are pushing. So it's usually like good to limit this to some reasonable amount. And then if it doesn't come out with that, then you heat this or do some other trigger to make it easier. But I think this is quite easy to push out. Ta-da! And then, because I'm lazy and this is just like a demonstration, I'm going to push the exactly the same part in. But you can think that this is the new part. And to do that, you just close the table, put this here and this on top of this. And they have to be really, really, really straight. If it starts to go like in, when it's like a bit crooked, then you are going to just break everything. And usually at this part, you have to be like also really careful not to break this part. Now this is plastic, so it's quite weak. So a good thing is to limit the pressure. I can lower it from here, open the pressure valve. So now we don't use too much pressure. And then with this machine, there's really nice hand pump. So uh, first we are going to approach with the electric pump. And now, if you wanna be extra careful, you can use the hand pump. So it's really slow, that's helpful. But I can also feel how much resistance is here. It goes really easily now. And also the pressure meter, so zero. With 100 ton press, I'm not sure about this press, but with our own 150 ton press, even if you have the pressure valve completely open, it still makes 10 tons. So that's quite a lot on like plastic part or small ball bearing. So with this, you can be like really, really careful. And I can tell like how it feels when we get all the way to the end. Okay, it feels easy. Now it gets, now it got already much harder to pump. And this still shows zero. So it's like you are much more precise with your hand than relying on the pressure meter. Yeah, now it's raising after like a couple more pumps. So this is really great if you are really, really careful about what you are crushing. This is not that like exciting. We could just like use the electric pump and it would be nice. But if you have a bit more exciting, exciting tasks, then this is great. Now it's done.